Good morning everyone and welcome to Mauritius. We've been here for about a week and have just been settling in. We are staying in the northern part of the island through our beach. We've just been exploring and we got a scooter and just kind of explored the northern part of the island and in a couple of days we are heading to a new Airbnb in the south of the island. We're there for a month and I think it's going to be a little bit nicer than this Airbnb. So we went very very cheap for the first Airbnb just because we spent a lot of more money than we were intending to in Zimbabwe. The journey from Zimbabwe to here was eventful to say the least. Richie's going to talk about that in his vlog. We had a nine hour layover in Nairobi and like a few other things happened but I'll let Richie talk about that, we're keeping it upbeat in this vlog today. Yeah, we are here and we're just really, really excited to be in Mauritius. It's absolutely stunning and the people are just so friendly and welcoming and yeah, I think we'll be really happy here for a little bit of time. We've just been for a little bit of a swim and a walk this morning. I'm gonna have a little shower and get glowed up a little bit for the day. We have a hire car being delivered very soon which is really exciting so we can like go a little bit further when we rented the scooter it was really really fun but you can only really go on like B roads on a scooter because as soon as you get on the motorway it's just a bit scary one thing I will say about Mauritius is people drive crazy people drive crazy people are always like overtaking you or like wanting to overtake you and the buses the buses just it's similar to London actually in look buses rule the roads. <laughs> oh, I also wanted to pop in a little bit of footage from Zimbabwe because I have a little bit from um, a boat trip in Zimbabwe and a few other things that we did and I just want it to live somewhere so I thought I'd pop it into this vlog. These vlogs are to share with you guys but they're also as a little record for me to look back on in years to come. The boat trip in Zimbabwe was absolutely incredible. As I say, Zimbabwe is spenny but worth it, worth every single penny. No regrets at all. We saw crocodiles, hippos, we saw an elephant in the wild. It was, honestly, that boat trip was, I, I feel like it would be hard to top that boat trip. <laughs> so whilst I get ready, I'll leave you to enjoy a little bit of footage from Zimbabwe and then we will head back to today. And back to today, please do ignore the mattress. I won't be doing an Airbnb tour. Anyway, this is where I have been teaching my classes from. I actually need to pack this away today. So luckily I've only needed to teach three classes in this apartment. And yeah, as I say, it's not, 
it's not ideal um, and I'm hoping the next place will have a bit of a nicer setup for classes and particularly for filming. And on that note, I just wanted to say thank you to any of you guys who have joined my mindful movement over the Christmas or New Year period. I really hope you are enjoying the January 28 day series. I shared the first one here on YouTube. So if you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link to it down below and you can get all the other classes and hundreds of other classes on the My Mindful Movement membership as well as lives, giveaways, community, playlists, extra classes. It's all going on over there. So thank you so, so much. If you are doing the 28 day series, I'd love to know how you are getting on. Rich and I worked really hard on it and I'm so, so, so proud of those classes and how it flows and things. So yeah, I just wanted to say thank you and yeah, we're in for a great start to the year. So whilst we've been in Mauritius, we've actually slipped into a really nice balance of working and enjoying the island so far. We usually do a little bit of work. Well, this is how our day usually goes. We get up, we do our morning routines separately, and then we start work. We do maybe like one to two hours of work in the morning, and then we'll go out for the day either to explore, sunbathe, swim, just explore the local area and then in the evening we'll come back have some food and then do another few hours of work into the evening and that's been working really really well I feel like I don't want to waste any daylight here so that's why I don't really like working that much in the day and I kind of save it for the evening hours with that being said on a Monday is my busiest day for classes and here in Mauritius we are four hours ahead of the UK and three hours ahead of my European clients. So I do end up working later than I would like to. So on a Monday evening the membership has a Zoom class at 6pm UK time which is 10pm here. So it means I'm teaching until 11pm and usually I'm the type of person that's in bed asleep by 10pm. But we're adjusting to that and it's only one day a week that I have to teach that late, so I absolutely do not mind. And today is Saturday. Um, we have been out already for a swim and stuff, but I do need to do a little bit of work, get back to some of the members. And a few people, oh, and a few people over Christmas bought private lessons as gifts for people, so I'm just kind of planning in those. Also, I'm kind of sitting with something at the moment that possibly you guys can help me with. I don't know what to do with this YouTube channel. It's a mixture of vlogs and classes. The classes grow the channel, the vlogs take subscribers away. It's really nice for the people that do watch the vlogs and it's a really nice small little group of us and I really enjoy interacting with you and hearing from you guys and some of you are just the sweetest people ever. Like helping me out in my DM, genuinely like the sweetest, loveliest people. But every time I upload a vlog, I lose subscribers. So it's like one step forward, one step back. And it's kind of like, hmm, creating content for YouTube is a lot more time consuming than, you know, just posting a story or just posting a TikTok. That's like a few seconds, isn't it? Whereas a vlog or creating a class is hours of work usually. So I'm not really sure what to do with this YouTube channel and usually I would have an idea at the beginning of the year but I'm not quite sure what to do so if you have any suggestions, any insight, that would be amazing. I feel like I'd maybe benefit from like a social media assistant or consultant or something like that, I'm not really sure. So that, that's my thoughts around YouTube at the moment, but I will be continuing to share classes and continuing to share vlogs as and when I can. So yeah, don't worry, we're not going anywhere with this YouTube channel. And my boyfriend will probably be vlogging aspects of our day or aspects of our time. So I'll leave a link to his channel down below because I know he wants to grow his channel a little bit and his vlogs are just so much nicer edited than mine. and. Um, yeah, you should definitely go check them out. So I'll leave a link to his channel down below. Right, let's get these emails done and then we will get into the rest of the day.
would like to see exactly what we use for filming and live classes, Rich has an updated version of the kit that we use, microphones, cameras, lighting, little extra things to make your videos. So he's got that updated video coming soon and everything is lightweight. As you can see, I've got some um, padding in here. I just used a little bit of polystyrene from I think it was like a water filter or something we bought and that has protected those lights going through the hold luggage so fingers crossed they continue to work i think our car is here so richie's just sorting that out because google maps doesn't really work <laughs> in mauritius so you kind of have to give people the ballpark area and then go find them I washed my trainers and insoles because we've been doing a lot, a lot of walking and they've been absolutely stinking. Now to wash them, smelling a lot fresher. Fun fact, it's actually rainy season in Mauritius right now, although we've only seen rain twice <laughs> in nine days. <laughs> we did get caught in a downpour and it was a huge downpour, like big fat raindrops. The roads were like rivers but it was still warm, like it was actually quite refreshing. We were actually on a long walk and it started raining and it was like having a shower with warm water. So yeah, still recommend uh, Mauritius even if the only time you can come is rainy season. This kitchen is kind of inside outside which is why you can probably hear the traffic <laughs> more than the chopping not that i mind that at all you can see i bought some pre-grated carrot and cabbage and it's just because this kitchen is a little bit lacking hey ho we are moving in a couple of days and i'm very excited tinned food has also been our friend so chickpeas and sweet corn are going in as well. It's not my best creation ever, but we'll definitely fill a gap. I've got some delicious, delicious fruit to make fruit salad afterwards as well, actually. Jungle air. Uh, Wait, not passion fruit. It's what a, were you going to call it? Jungle? Yeah, jungle fruit. No, it's a... Uh, no, don't tell me. I'm not telling you. It's um, a name like that, like passion. It's a uh, fire fruit. It's a... Uh, fire fruit? I mean, that is a good name for it. What is this, people? The dragon fruit. Dragon fruit! Yeah, see, so I was on the right lines. Fire, passion, dragon. <laughs> You're burning lines. I'm gonna make us a little fruit salad. I bought this at the shop this morning and Richie's not so happy about this one. I found a mango on the floor. The trees around here are absolutely abundant in mangoes but obviously you can't go into people's gardens and pick their mangoes but this one was on the street and I was like I'm having that. Give me a mango and he's perfectly ripe. Actually he feels a bit overripe. Wow that's different. I thought it was white inside. Okay. Look at that. Yeah, I thought they were white inside. Mango's a bit bruised, where he obviously took a little bit of a fall, so I'm just not, I'm not gonna eat that bit. Mm. Free food? Mmm. It's the most mango-y tasting mango I've ever had. <laughs> and I've never had this before. I've, I've only ever had it when it's white. Mmm. Nice. It's a little bit like a kiwi. Mm -mm. State of this place. We are headed out for a little drive now. We're going to go to Port Louis. Yeah. Well, towards Port Louis, maybe near the mountains, because Richie wants to film a little thing mm -hmm. for worky stuff. And then we're going to explore Port Louis. And I always get questions about this crop top. Um, I usually roll it up like this, but you can. It's actually quite long. It's from Osho, I got it in Barcelona. It's delicious, I want more from Osho. This mirror's really dirty. And then I've been living in my Tala 
365 cycling shorts and they are double lined so I don't bother wearing knickers with them because I don't think they need them really. Also, just while we're here, I'll turn you around. I've got loads of comments on the trousers that I'm wearing in the first few days of the 28 day series. First of all, thank you so much. I'm glad you appreciate them as much as I do. They look amazing. They're not the best quality, I'm not gonna lie. They're from Mango. I got them from a website when we were in South Africa. So hopefully you can find them on the Mango website wherever you are in the world but yeah after like one or two washes there's like little holes at the seams so not the best quality definitely more of a something that I would wear to make videos look nice not necessarily something that I would maybe wear all the time so just FYI let's get in the car it's 4x4 let's, let's do it skirt <laughs> Thing. There's a few dings in this car, isn't there? <laughs> yeah. I give it merci beaucoup and all that jazz. It's all right, little Frenchie. Oh, I'm bilingual. Do you want to lick my lolly? <laughs> a chomp! A chomp of a nice <laughs> lolly. <laughs> savage. Absolute savage for you, man. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for my ice lolly. I'll buy you lunch. for a couple of hours. We both feel a bit tired after the drive. It wasn't far, it was just a lot to like navigate and stuff. But we've just ordered two vegan talis from this place called Mystic Masala on the waterfront. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here for today because I just wanted to say, hey, we've arrived in Mauritius. I really hope you're looking forward to more Mauritius vlogs coming very, very soon. If you haven't checked out the intuitive movement series that we have this January, definitely check out the first link below. Love, love, love to welcome you over at My Mindful Movement. And actually, tomorrow is day eight. Well, on the 8th of January, it'll be day eight. And I'm actually gonna post that on YouTube as well. So make sure you look out for that. I'll also link it below. Um, I think that's all I have to say. I'm very hot. Need more water. <laughs> Hope you've had a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. If you are in a cold part of the world, I'm sending you some love and some sunshine. Stay tuned to see what our tallies look like. <laughs>